What's up animators? So today I'm going to show you how to animate images and bring in some sound so you can make these uh, talking heads right here. Check this out. Come with me if you want to live. Ooh. Come with me if you want to live. That was from a real image. Copied and pasted from online. Got them out to move. Here's a Ryu right here. There we go. So let's make one. Uh, so first you want to do is get your audio file and your image. So choose a character, pop culture uh, icon. Should be easy to find. I'm going to go with the Street Fighter characters for the audio bytes. If you go to 101 Soundboards, you can find lots of uh, audio clips in there. So you need your little audio clip, audio byte, uh, your favorite quote. Uh, and I'm going to use one by Wolverine. So there's Wolverine right there from X-Men vs. Street Fighter. And I think I'm going to use this one right here. There we go. Uh, you can look up other characters. I can type in Terminator right here. Uh, I want to apologize in advance. There may be some inappropriate content in, these, um, in this website. Uh, not there maybe, there definitely will, put it that way instead. So sorry about that. Let's see. All right, that wasn't Terminator. That was the, uh, that was the other actor. Uh, let me think of another character. Everybody likes Star Wars, right? Darth Vader. Should be Darth Vader in there. Cool, Darth Vader soundboard right there. And you can... There you go. Except um, Darth Vader doesn't have a moving mouth, so we're not going to use Darth Vader. <laughs> I'm going to use Wolverine one right Let's here. Let's go, bub. All right, I want to download this. So I'm going to click on this link right here. Notice it's a link, like a little chain. And watch out for all these ads. And here's a download button right there. Add down there. Add that uh, ad up there. And a bunch of ads right here. A bunch of Wolverine related products. So I'm going to download that one. And let them know I am a human. Or am I? Please check each image containing a bicycle. All right. That looks like a bike. And I don't see any other bikes in there. There better not be any other bikes. Next. Oh. All right. More bicycles. Bicycle there. That looks part of a motorcycle. And I think I'm good. All right, cool. You believe me. So there's my file. Now you want to get a picture of a Wolverine. You want to get a bust image, something like that. Uh, preferably something larger, but it's going to be cartoony. So I'm going to go with that anyways. I think this one might be bigger. Yeah, that one's bigger. But I don't want something kind of facing the camera more directly. It would be easier to animate. Versus the, um, also the smile matters. Here, there's really wide. And when I animate it, you can kind of see... Um, the mouth right there, that gap right there. And this one's a little cleaner. There you go, it's not as bad. So whatever you guys wanna go with. All right, so I'm gonna use this one right here. I could do an open mouth one too. Rawr. All right, let me try this one. And I'm gonna right click it, copy image. Easy as that, just copy it. Back over to anime, control V to paste. There it is. I'm gonna use a free transform tool, scale it up to about the size of my plane here. I'm grabbing it from the corner handle here, holding down the shift key as I pull up. And I am losing some quality there, but I should be all right. Let me double click in here, put 80% so I can zoom out. All right, cool, not bad. I like that. Maybe just bring them down so that the waist there touches the bottom of the stage. There you go, cuts it a little bit. All right. And now I'm gonna, I need to trace this. I need to do a bitmap trace because I can't animate this. It's kind of like a symbol right now. So I'm going to go up here to modify and then go down to bitmap and then trace bitmap. And it's going to make it like a, like a graphic, uh, like a graph, like a shape, graphic object, a shape. Trace bitmap. Uh, if you want to keep high quality, if you want to keep the quality there, go with 20. If you're using a picture of an actual person, like Arnold Schwarzenegger over here, I can't go to it right now. If you increase the color threshold, you can try like 180 or 200. It'll look more cartoony. And uh, for instance, the one I have over there, it looks like a video game uh, character. So let me reduce this down to one so I can try to keep as much quality as possible. Since I got a small image and I blew it up, I lost some quality there. Uh, minimum area pixels, uh, I think four is good. I think by default, you're gonna have eight. For color threshold, I'm going with many corners. Gives me a uh, better quality there. And curve fit very tight, better quality there as well. So I will lose some quality, but not as much. 
it also have a cartoony appearance, which is what I want. It's Adobe Animate. Okay. And there we go. Cool. Not bad. Almost looks painted. Let me undo that real quick so I can show you guys something else. And undo. Uh, modify. Bitmap. Trace bitmap. So I forgot to show you this preview. You can preview it right here to see how it looks like before committing to it. So minimum area pixels, I can try two. Preview. There you go. That looks a lot better. So I reduce it down to two. I can try one and it'll be even more quality. There you go. So I think I like two a little better, two. That also uh, blends in the colors the higher these numbers are as well. Preview. Cool. Okay. I'm going to commit to that. There we go. All right. So I got my object here. Let me click away. So if you click on it, it has a little mesh pattern. See, I can click on a color and it selects that whole color similar to a shape. And right now I got the free transform tool activated. So let me go to selection tool. There you go. Now it's easier to see. I want to select the mouth here. So I'm going to zoom into it. I'm going to choose a magnifying glass right here, the zoom tool. I'm going to put it right here in the mouth and left click. All right, left click again. It's getting closer. Oh, there we go. Let me see your grill. I'm not a dentist, but let's get closer in there. All right, so, oops, I still have the tool activated. Alternate left click, that'll zoom out. So you notice it turns into a, into a minus sign. There we go, so you go selection tool, there we go. Uh, I can try to select the parts in here that are part of the mouth. If, it's, um, if it had shadows here uh, that were a different color, it'll create boundaries. As you notice here, I click this color, selects that whole shade. And then the other colors there work as boundaries. Same thing here. If I click this color, it won't select this there. Uh, so instead, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a lasso tool right here, a lasso. Then I'm just going to draw the area I want to select. So I want to select the, uh, the mouth, the lower lip, and the chin here so I can pull it down later and animate it. So I think I'll start right here. Hold down the left mouse button, and I'm just dragging straight down, straight as possible, down into the chin, selecting the chin there. And just eyeballing it here, freehanding. There we go. And then in the middle of the teeth somewhere. So I get a bottom and top grill there. And I could, uh, I don't have to get both teeth, both sets of teeth. I could just go right here on the lip and only have like a top set of teeth. All right, there we go. That's going to be my, my chin there. I'm going to pull down my jaw. And I'm going to convert this into a symbol. So that's being selected right now. So the lasso tool is actually a selection tool. So it allows you to select um, these weird shapes. That's what we did right now. So I'm going to hit F8 to convert that to a symbol. Function 8. If you don't have an F8 key or if it doesn't work because you have a, um, a laptop, you can just right click and go over here to convert to symbol. There we go. So I'm going to name this one mouth or chin, whatever you want to call it. We'll call it mouth. Make sure it's graphic and center registration. Okay. There we go. See, so now it's that blue box. Let me test it out. Ha, 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 ha. It is all right, Wolverine. Actually, that doesn't sound like Wolverine. I'm going to put it back. All right, Control-Z. There we go. So now I'm going to hit Control-A to select all. All right, everything here is selected, including my symbol here. I'm going to deselect that. I'm going to hold on Shift and click there so it doesn't have that blue boundary. There we go. And, oh, that didn't work. So I still have the last tool activated. So Selection Tool. All right, now Control-A. Make sure I have Selection Tool activated. I'll hold on Shift and click here on this symbol right here, the chin, the mouth. All right, so everything else is selected except for that. So no more blue boundary, but everything else has that mesh pattern there. Let me just zoom back out to 100. There we go. And I'm going to convert everything else into a separate symbol. Uh, I don't want it moving around. Uh, I want to keep everything together. Uh, if you like, you can um, select parts of the hands here and convert those to symbols, and you can move them around individually as well. All right, so F8. And I'm just going to call this one everything else. Everything underscore else graphic center registration okay there you go let me double check i got a separate symbol there cool and i do it's kind of hard to see the blue boundary right now that's because now my chin is actually behind everything else it's hidden behind it so I pull it down see it hides behind the 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 neck right there and i don't want that so i'm going to pull it forward i'm going to put it on front i'm going to bring it uh to the front so i'm going to right click go over here to align and then oops go here arrange Arrange, bring to front, not forward. If you're going to bring it to the very front, go click on front. Bring forward just brings it one step further, which will still work. But as a best practice, you want to always just bring stuff straight to the front. Just click uh, bring to front and put on top of everything else. So now I'll pull it down. It'll cover up the um, the neck there. There we go. Cool. All right. So now I'm going to pull the mouth down and have a white background there. I'm going to make the rest of that 
uh, black. So I'm just going to make the stage black. So I'm going to go right here to dock. And here's a stage color. We're here in the properties panel. Click in there and just make it black. There we go. So I'll pull down the mouth. It'll be black in there. Control Z undo. And if you had a background, then you have to try to delete it. So I'm going to double click here the symbol of everything else. Double click it. And I'm just going to use the selection tool here. And I can select other stuff here to delete it. Like for instance, if I want to delete this part of the shoulder pad right there, I can just click it. It's all the same colors and delete. It'll get rid of it. I don't want to do that. What I will do is get rid of this right here. I'm going to click it, delete. Click this one, delete. There we go. So fortunately, I found a transparent picture. But if you don't find a transparent picture, you might notice your background doesn't match your stage. So then you have to select those parts of the background and delete them, similar to how I deleted uh, whatever that was right there. It must have been part of another character. Let me try to delete this one here. There we go. Now the claw looks a little scary. So undo, control Z, control Z, control Z. All right. So as you work on your project, you'll notice um, some of the stuff there stays in the background. That's supposed to get deleted. There we go. Uh, the background will be there. You can click on it and uh, deselect it. Little areas that are hard to find. You can drag, select, delete them. You can always zoom into it as well. All right, so those are gone. So I'm going to click on the over here because I was just in editing mode. Now I'm going to exit editing mode. Boom, back to my main mode here. All right, so now I'm going to name this layer, bring in a new one. So it's going to be uh, character or Wolverine, whatever you want to name it. It's going to be my character. Enter. Plus sign. Double click in there. It's going to have my audio in there. Audio. Enter. All right. And I just downloaded my audio file. And uh, make sure you have the audio layer selected. Then you go to File. Import. You're going to go Import a Stage. So it goes directly into that layer, to the audio layer, while your audio layer is selected. Import to Stage. All right, make sure you prior to this, you're, you have already downloaded it. Here's the other ones that I've downloaded it, that I have downloaded. And this is the one I just downloaded right now. So I'm gonna click there, open. Cool, so it's inside that layer right there. I don't know how long this, uh, this audio clip is. I can try to count it based on uh, how long it takes them to say that. And it doesn't give me any other info here about the length of the audio. Let's go, bub. Maybe three seconds long. So that's 30 frames. Um, Per second, so right here would be one second, and 60 would be two seconds. So let me try over here frame 100. I'm just gonna insert a frame in there. Right click, insert frame, and this is for the auto layer. And it's frame, order it's frame, not keyframe, but just a regular frame. All right, so the audio file was not that long. So a little bit under two seconds, so it was right here. So now I'm gonna bring that over here. So I'm gonna double click it here. Make sure the whole layer turns blue. And then you see a yellow bar over here. The Wolverine disappeared, that's okay, it's still there, just it's only at frame one. So I'm gonna adjust the auto layer first, and then I'll adjust the Wolverine over there, my character. All right, so you should see the yellow line there on the on the right side, little yellow edge. Hover your mouse over that until you get a double-sided arrow. Then hold down the left mouse button and drag it. So I'm just dragging it over down here. Make it a little bit more time afterwards. So about maybe right there, let go. All right, cool, so there's my audio file there. If it was longer than that, then obviously you would go in the other direction. All right, so now I need, I need to bring Wolverine all the way up to that frame, which is frame 50. So I'm going to right click in here and insert frame, just a regular frame. And there we go. So play button. Let's go, bub. There we go, except the mouse not moving. So now I got to move the mouse. Uh, the mouth, got to move the mouth here. So here's my audio starts, and the mouth doesn't open until right here. And so see the note is uh, the frequency there. It's a little higher. It's a little higher there. It's taller. So that's where the mouth would open. So currently the mouth is closed throughout the whole thing because in frame one it is, that key frame. That's on key event right now, closed mouth. So now I'm going to go right in here and open the mouth right before it gets to that point. So I'm going to right click in there, insert key frame. And while in that key frame where the frequency first gets wider, I'm going to select just the mouth. And then pull it down a bit. As far as you want to go, as far as you want your mouth to open, there we go. And then, so it opens there. And then I'm going to go back over here. It opens here again at some point. So I'm just going to insert another keyframe where I think it opens. Let me hit the play button. So let's, where's the go at? It's in here. Let's see. Let's go. All right, so it's in here, go. So another keyframe in there. Mouth open still. Let's. Go, bum. 
All right, so another keyframe here. Mouth stays open. Insert keyframe. And then, let's see, just say in there. Bob, Bob. All right, and then right here it's closed. So I'm going to copy that frame, copy frames, close it right here after the that high frequency there. Paste frames. <clears throat> there we go. Let's see. Let's get out of right here. It's kind of like, yo! No! So I'll close it down over here a little later. Paste frames. Bob. I close it right. Let's see. Can we close it right here? Either there or there. So let me try it right here. So paste frames. All right, control enter. Let's go, Bob. Let's go, Bob. Let's oh, go, Bob. Let's go. All right, we got it. There you go. Here's that. All right, so save it. Save as. <clears throat> Wolverine. Let's go, Bob. Wolverine. All right. Save. And so this right here, high frequency, mouth open. And then when it closes, close mouth. High frequency, mouth open. Frequency goes slow, close mouth. High frequency. And then so the bub right here was kind of a little long. So that's why I put the mouth closed over there. Uh, let's see what it looks like if I move it back a little bit, like around here. Might not look as neat. Let's go, Bob. Let's go, Bob. I think I like it open a little wider. Let's go, Bob. Let's go, Bob. There we go. Now for my video file, file, export, export uh, video, video media. And uh, we're good to go from there. But thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. Uh, if you want to support the channel, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, notification, anything helps. Let's go, Bob. Come with me if you want to live.